Let's shift gears a bit to the wild tale of the Great Emu War in Australia. Yes you heard me right, they waged a war against emus. Hey there folks! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got another history lesson with a twist and you won't believe some of these jaw-dropping events. But before we dive into it, do me a favor and drop a like on this video to show your support. Get ready to hear about one of the wackiest chapters in history, the Great Emu War in Australia. So picture this, it's 1932 and Australia a country known for its stunning landscapes and unique wildlife, is facing a peculiar problem. Emus, those big, flightless birds that kind of resemble overgrown chickens are causing massive trouble for the farmers. These feathery troublemakers are gobbling up crops left and right. The farmers had had enough. They demanded help from the government and the government in all its wisdom decided to take action. They sent in the military, yes you heard me right, the military, to wage war on the emus. Can you imagine soldiers in full gear marching into battle against, birds? It sounds like something out of a cartoon doesn't it? Now here's where it gets even crazier. The soldiers were armed with two Lewis machine guns and 10,000 rounds of ammunition. They were going to mow down those emus with heavy firepower. But emus are no pushovers. These birds are fast, agile, and surprisingly tough to hit. The emus, being the crafty little birds they are, used their speed and wits to outmaneuver the soldiers. It turned into a feathered game of cat and mouse. In the end, after weeks of intense battles, the military had to admit defeat. They declared that they'd been beaten by a bunch of birds and they withdrew from the war. The emus were victorious. So, the Great Emu War is one of those historical events that leaves you scratching your head. It's like a real-life Looney Tunes episode played out in the Australian outback. And of course, it's a story that we can't help but laugh at, a bunch of soldiers taking on a bunch of emus and losing. 